What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top three best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and Earl The Truth Spence Jr., 27 wins, no losses, no draws, 21 wins by way of knockout. He is 31 years of age, 5 foot 9 and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Looks like he's going to be scheduled to face WBA World Boxing Association's uh, welterweight world champion, Cuban star, Cuban star boxer, your Danis Ugas, by on April 16th in Arlington, Texas at AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium for a unification bout. Your Danis Ugas, 20, 27 wins. Four losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 69 inch armage. Looks like that unification bout with three belts will be on the line April 16th. Okay. Uh, with that said, the biggest fight in the sport of boxing currently, as it stands today, is uh, Errol Spence himself versus undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the WBO reigning welterweight world champion who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world in Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford, 38 wins, no losses, no draws, uh, 29 big wins by way of knockout. Terrence Crawford is 34 years of age, 5'8", with a 74-inch arm reach. So Errol Spence has made it clear that he wants to uh, become undisputed at welterweight. He's trying to create history, and then he's looking to move up to junior middleweight, okay? Now, Errol Spence, once upon a time, he referred to himself as uh, the truth, and he also refer referred to his slogan as strap season, okay? Errol Spence has since made an adjustment to that. Once Errol Spence has started to become the uh, face of the welterweight division and the pay-per-view star, and Errol Spence, he did more uh, gates, bigger money, bigger gate money than anybody in 2020, including Canelo Alvarez, four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is currently the undisputed super middleweight world champion and widely considered by many to be the number one best, number two, three, pound for pound best fighter in the world and the face of the sport of boxing, including Canelo Alvarez and undefeated three division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis. Uh, Errol Spence did a bigger gate, live gate than both of those guys in 2020. He refers to himself as the big fish, okay? Errol Spence, he represents the biggest fight, 50% of the biggest fight in the sport of boxing between himself and Terrence Crawford. So um, we saw a post that came from Terrence Crawford on his social media where we saw Terrence Crawford in the ocean on vacation and Terrence Crawford was saying he was searching for the big fish. I'm out here looking for the big fish, but I can't find no big fish out here. I'm looking for a big fish by the name of Errol Spence Jr. That's what he stated, okay? Uh, your Danis Ugas on his social media, Instagram post, he did uh, Instagram Live when he was uh, reviewing the Errol Spence, uh, your Dana Sugis buildup. He stated, you know, he's going big fish hunting, right? So uh, he said his big fish hunting. Now, again, Errol Spence referred to himself as strap season. He collected all them belts and he did the, you know, he do the motion strap season. I need those belts. And he called himself the truth. Okay. Uh, and so with that said, you know, uh, actually, it, it it was reported that that truth Monda came from when he had uh, success in a glorified sparring session with a uh, legendary retired Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer in Floyd Money Mayweather. OK, he had a lot of success against Floyd Mayweather in sparring. And it was being reported that that's where the nickname came from, because everybody started to refer to Errol Spence as that kid is the truth when he was giving Floyd Mayweather trouble in sparring. OK. Uh, and so with that said, he's nicknamed himself now the big fish. OK, he's the big catch. He's the big draw. OK, and we know that he was going back and forth with Terrence Crawford as far as Terrence Crawford stating that he wanted uh, Errol Spence won a 60 40 split in his favor. He did not want to give Errol Spence a 60 40 split in Errol Spence's favor. He said it had to be 50 50 or it had to be 60 40 in his favor. You know, so with that said. Errol Spence, you know, uh, we look at the pay-per-view numbers, you know, outside of Canelo Alvarez and as the heavyweight division goes, so goes the sport of boxing. So you kind of have to exclude the heavyweight division. 
And you look at the pay-per-view numbers, Errol Spence is doing the bigger pay-per-view numbers than anybody else, including that of Terrence Crawford and that of your Danis Ugas. Your Danis Ugas, you know, he did a recent pay-per-view with a uh, legendary eight-division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, August 21st, when your Danis Ugas replaced uh, the original opponent, which was Errol Spence, to face Manny Pacquiao at the T-Mobile Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. But Errol Spence suffered a broken detached retina, which saw Errol Spence replaced and removed out of the fight. And uh, your Dana Sugis had to replace him. But that pay-per-view wasn't uh, as big of a draw as many people uh, suggested it was going to be, okay? And even though it included a legend like Manny Pacquiao, okay? So with that said, Errol Spence, he did 350,000 uh, pay-per-view buys with... Um, uh, four division world champion Mexican superstar boxer uh, Mikey Garcia. Then you know uh, he did uh, three hundred twenty five thousand pay per view buys with uh, a two time welterweight world champion superstar boxer Showtime Sean Porter. Uh, then he did three hundred fifteen to three hundred twenty thousand pay per view buys with uh, two division world champion Puerto Rican superstar boxer Danny Swift Garcia. So uh, it you know he, Errol Spence is doing major pay per view numbers. Okay. Thus, and then you look at uh, Terrence Crawford. His first pay-per-view with Victor Postal, it did a reported 60,000 pay-per-views. Then Terrence Crawford's uh, second pay-per-view with Amir King Kong, multi-division world champion British superstar boxer Amir King Kong, it did a reported 150,000 pay-per-views. Okay, and then most recently, Terrence Crawford, he did another pay-per-view with a common opponent, a mutual opponent of Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, and that was with... Um, uh, two-time welterweight champion Showtime Sean Porter, and that did a reported 190,000 pay-per-view buys, okay? So then you look at uh, Errol Spence's fights, he's clearly doing bigger pay-per-view numbers than Terrence Crawford, okay? Uh, and then you look at your Danis Ugas fight with uh, Manny Pacquiao, and it did a reported 200,000 pay-per-view buys, okay? So if it does 200,000 pay-per-view buys and it has Manny Pacquiao's name attached to it, and Errol Spence is doing 300 to 350,000 pay-per-view buys. Well, that gone is him being called the big fish, okay? Uh, and we know, you know, that he's a superstar. He sold out AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas twice when he fought uh, Mikey Garcia and when he fought Danny Garcia, okay? Uh, and the common opponent here is Errol Spence Jr., now, Mikey Garcia is Mexican fighter. Danny Garcia is a Puerto Rican fighter, okay? So there's a huge Mexican fan base that everybody claimed that that was the reason why the arena sold out. Well, when Danny fought um, Danny Garcia, who's a Puerto Rican fighter, uh, and he still sold out the arena. So the common denominator here is Errol Spence Jr., and that's the reason why Errol Spence Jr. against Yordana Sugis, massive unification, three-belt ring magazine title uh, showdown, will possibly land at AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas, okay? Um, because it's a he's a major draw there. Uh, he is, uh, uh, he's known to do big gates there. And, uh, you know, your Dana Sugis just simply does not have the fan base that Errol Spence has, okay? Uh, he doesn't even have the fan base of Terrence Crawford. Uh, your Dana Sugis just simply doesn't have a big fan base. So you got to even account that. Uh, him uh, against Manny Pacquiao doing 200,000 pay-per-view buys, you know, uh, that speaks volumes, okay? So it's clear, Errol Spence is the clear A-side. Now, uh, what's important to note here is that uh, the fight between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence had hit a snag, and we saw that, you know, um, Errol Spence had, uh, um, uh, he's with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champions, founder and advisor Al Heyman, and we know that the PBC, they stated that, you know, uh, 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 advisor Tim Tim Smith, he stated that Terrence Crawford is simply pricing himself out and there's not a lot of big money in a market for Terrence Crawford because he just simply hasn't been uh, um, garnered and made into a pay-per-view star. Uh, okay, so what's interesting here to note is that Terrence Crawford is now a promotional network free agent after he parted ways with longtime promoter, uh, legendary CEO Bob Arum, ESPN, and Top Rank. So now Terrence Crawford is a free agent but Terrence Crawford is taking Bob Arum top rank ESPN or Bob Arum and top rank to court. Okay. Citing that they dropped the ball on his career. They didn't do what they, uh, they didn't hold up their end of the bargain. They didn't promote him correctly. And, uh, they didn't land the Errol Spence fight as he wanted. Okay. So, uh, he stated that they had agreed to negotiate an Errol Spence fight and it never came to fruition. And they agreed to negotiate a Manny Pacquiao fight and that never came to fruition. So it's interesting to see Errol Spence, 
he wants this fight with Terrence Crawford next after uh, he fights your Dana Sugar. Should he be successful? I personally think he will be successful because I just don't think uh, stylistically Errol Spence is a good matchup for your Dana Sugar. I think it's the other way around. Your Dana Sugar is not a big puncher. doesn't have very long arms. He's technically sound. He's very skilled. Uh, you know, he has a great jab. He's accurate with his punches, but he doesn't have a lot of pop on him which uh, you got to have to get Errol Spence's attention, okay? If you can't keep Errol Spence honest and you don't have the power for him to um, question just coming in and get, and being aggressive with you, then you could be in trouble. And seeing as though Errol Spence's spawn partners are starting to say that Errol Spence uh, is getting stronger and getting better and closer to that 100% mark than he was before he suffered that horrific car accident back in October of 2019, uh, your Dana Sugas could be in a lot of trouble. So I expect Errol Spence to be successful against your Dana Sugas. Then Errol Spence, he stated he wants to fight with Terrence Crawford. He wants to become undisputed. Now we know they're trying to push a fight between Errol Spence and former unified welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Keith One Tom Thurman, who made his ring return this past Saturday against uh, Mario Barrios after a two and a half year layoff. And he won. He didn't look spectacular in the fight, but he won the fight. So we got to see how that plays out as well. But Terrence Crawford is a free agent. Terrence Crawford says he wants the fight. Uh, is Terrence Crawford willing to, to do what it takes to make the fight happen? We have to see. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But Errol Spence, he gets a tattoo of a of a Jaws tattoo of a big fish. And he says, uh, I'm, with a warning, letting him know I'm the big fish. So let's see how this plays out and unfolds. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Oh, it is your boy Jaden Kiss. Make sure you check out Blue Blood Sports TV. It's going down.